Moox has developed auto configuration technology, which means that our onboard train switches and devices can configure themselves. We're going to show auto configuration in action. What we've got here is a really basic representation of your train network system. There are three consists with a backbone switch in each consist and a consist switch and two IP cameras to represent the IP devices that would be in a train consist. Let's see what would happen if I were to turn on this system here. Now, as the system boots up, each of the devices are actually still at the factory default settings, which means that they will share the same IP, the factory default IP. And if we turn to our MXView Industrial Network Management software screen, we can see a lot of these red boxes. And that's because there's an IP address conflict. But luckily, these devices also all have auto configuration. What that means is that as part of the boot up process, they are automatically retrieving the correct IP address information and the correct device setting information from the system and are configuring themselves. Which means that gradually, this entire system will learn what the correct configuration is and there will be no more IP address conflicts because each individual device will have retrieved the correct IP address from the central control computer. In fact, if we turn back to our industrial network management software, we can already see that many of these red boxes have turned yellow and very soon they'll disappear because the IP address conflict will have been resolved and this system will be completely ready to go thanks to auto configuration. Let's take another look at auto configuration. Here we've got our train system. It's completely set up. All the settings and IP addresses have already been configured and it's working properly as you can see in our MXView network management software. However, let's say it's time for us to swap out one of the devices on this train. The IP camera has broken and we need to replace it. What do we do now? Well, with auto configuration, it's actually very easy. I've got my replacement viewport camera right here and I'll just remove the old camera. Now, because this is a PoE switch and a PoE device, there's no separate power cable to plug in. The new camera will use auto configuration to automatically retrieve the correct configuration setting information and IP address from this existing system. So even though right now in MXView this camera has a red box around it, but it also has auto configuration. So as you can see, it's already started to work on retrieving the correct IP address and the correct device settings from the system. Thanks to auto configuration, this viewport, as it's booting up, is automatically configuring itself. And if we wait just a little bit, it will be fully configured and ready to go. All I had to do was unplug my old V-port and plug in my new V-port for everything to just work. We can do the exact same thing with Ethernet switches or other Ethernet devices that support auto configuration. As you can see, this makes it super easy to swap in new devices and replacement devices, and it will save train operators a lot of headaches. We created auto configuration because Moxa listened to railway customers. Thanks to auto configuration, there's no more time-consuming setup of these Ethernet switches and devices. Instead, you just plug one in, turn it on, and it just works.